I'm in Dave's garage. Whoa. What was the USB card of death and how many people died? So should I should I further the conspiracy or should I debunk the conspiracy? I could try either way. I hit that in grade nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. And I had a massive Big, pile massive, of cables. Yeah. Just, I've got no buffer. I've got nothing. I got in the queue. nothing. Like it's all I, going live tonight. I, why was the time zone map so challenging in Windows 95? And why, if I pick Formosa, does it not highlight my home area? Ah, uh, the time zone map. So Windows 95 introduced the time zone map. This was like you go to the control panel, call up, and pick your time zone just by clicking on the map. And that was really cool. And it was cute. And it would animate in. And it would highlight it. And everybody thought that was a lot of fun. Um, until geopolitics entered the entered the picture. So the Windows team used the official United Nations recognized maps to determine uh, where all the boundaries were. But of course, not all countries agree with the official maps uh, published by the United Nations. In fact, there are boundary disputes all over the world. They're like, even today, I think the United States probably still has a boundary dispute with Canada somewhere. Um, fortunately, there's there's no military aggression. But you know, like I remember, there yeah. was the story about like that island, but that was in dispute between Canada and Denmark. There were even arguments from countries who were not engaged in a border conflict, where like a small European country would contact us and say, "Hey, can 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 you?" Like our, our country is kind of small. Can you give us one of our neighbor's pixels to make it easier to click on? Because our guys, our, our citizens are having trouble clicking on that thing because we have to hit a really tiny target. And then the other country would, we'd get a re response from the other country saying, uh, or, or from some country saying, hey, why did you give one of our pixels to our neighbor? Like if you look at the map, that pixel belongs to us. Like, and it's like, there was no military conflict here, but they were just like, you know, out of nationalistic pride is like that, that pixel is more than 50%, you know, our countries. Like, it should be it should be ours. Like, why won't you give us our pixel? Um, and it's basically impossible to satisfy everybody on all of these things. And so we just made the decision. It's like, you know what? We're just, we will rotate the map to put your country or your time zone, like, in the center. So it looks like, hey, there you are, right in the middle. But we're not going to highlight anything. So nobody can complain. It's like, oh, you gave you gave too many pixels to our neighbor over there. It's like, I want that pixel. It's like, well, nobody gets any pixels. Um, there was a bug that we introduced when we did that, though, because the way the time zone map works is that we had a map of the world, and it was basically it was color coded. We assigned a, a color to every time zone, and the idea was that oh, if you picked uh, you know, uh, United States Pacific time, we would say, oh, okay, that's green. And so we would find all the green pixels on the map and highlight them. And then all the other pixels on the map, we dim them. Uh, and so we just use the color coding as a way to identify pixels on the map. And so we, we just took out all the coloring code, but the map was still there. It is just that we just, we, we just, we, we still use the map to identify where land and ocean was. Now, the problem was that at some point, Poland, there were some changes to the time zone information for Poland. And as a result, uh, Poland's time zone was assigned to match those of its neighbors, but we forgot to update the colors in the map. And so as a result, Poland's time zone, the original like exclusive to Poland time zone disappeared. Okay. Because nobody was using it anymore. And as a result, when you went to the world map, the time zone picker map, there was ocean where Poland is supposed to be. But since the originally the original time zone assigned to Poland was just deleted from the list because nobody used it, we forgot that the map used it. You can think of it as like every time we saw a time zone, we like raised its we raised it out of the ocean and gave it, you know, gave it dry land. And Poland just like stayed at the bottom of the ocean. Lake Poland. Yeah. So there's I forget exactly when we finally fixed it, but there is a, f a period of time where if you went to the time zone map, uh, instead of Poland, you saw uh, what we called the Great Polish Sea 